Since the start of the series, Call of Duty has always been synonymous with World War II. From massive aerial battles to trenches and small French towns, the series has literally gotten people interested in World War II again. But in 2007, Infinity Ward decided to make the jump from the 1940s to modern day with Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. It was a big deal at the time. Everyone went nuts about it and the floodgates of Modern Warfare shooter knockoffs began to pour out with games like Medal of Honor, Homefront, and Battlefield. With all that being said, Modern Warfare does have plenty of great moments, but it also doesn't quite live up to all the hype that came with it. This time around, the story doesn't follow three different characters as they fight through different fronts of the Second World War, but instead follows two soldiers in a connecting narrative that at first feels like nothing really fits together. As time goes by, however, things begin to fall into place and the player will begin to realize that they're but pawns in a massive chess game that is beginning. At times, the story is great, but it never really picks up until halfway through the game. Just note that once Act 1 wraps up, the game kicks off into high gear and never really lets go. I will say this about the campaign, however. It felt like the American levels were always thrown in just so that the US military was represented. The story always moved forward with the SAS levels, and my best time with the campaign was always with the SAS. Never but one moment did I feel like the story moved whenever I played as an American GI. There was also a strong variety within the campaign. At one moment, I was a gunman on the side of a helicopter, and another where I was operating a C-130's guns, and one surprisingly fun stealth level where I was a sniper sneaking behind enemy lines so I could assassinate a high value target. Call of Duty never seemed to run out of new and cool things to show me and I really appreciate that. Graphically, the game really shines, however, some of the more unimportant objects in the game are low res, like TV models and random debris. Modern Warfare ran great on the 360 and never once did it crash or slow down on me. Admittedly though, it hasn't aged all that well. It still looks good today, but honestly, that may not be the case in another 10 years. This is of course excluding the remaster edition, which I'll talk about in a minute. While the campaign is shorter than previous Call of Duty games, the level select does allow for plenty of revisitation of my favorite levels, and after completing the game, you unlock arcade mode, cheats, and a bonus level. The bonus level doesn't really add anything other than being able to engage in a shootout on a jet, and arcade mode allows you to play through the campaign Again, but this time stacks points for each kill. My personal favorite, however, is Cheat Mode, which can be accessed in the option menu after finishing the campaign. Some are silly, like the Ragtime Cheat, however, some are really cool, like the Cluster Bomb Cheat, that changes your grenades into Cluster Bombs. And trust me, it's a lot cooler than it sounds. The original version's multiplayer doesn't offer bots offline, but if you have up to four friends, you can play it a way to your heart's desire. I never bothered to mess around with multiplayer, to many that was the whole game, but since I'm a solo single player reviewer, I was left out. That being said, you should check out the remastered edition, more on that in a second. The weapons are cool, and while you can't customize them or choose where you start off with in the campaign, usually the weapons you start off with have multiple attachments. and do a decent enough job of making you not want to change them as you're playing through the campaign. There is a large variety of different weapons throughout the levels, which is something that unfortunately is lost with other high-ranking games like Halo 2. Call of Duty 4 released on a wide variety of consoles. I played it on the 360. This version is identical to the PS3 and the PC edition. It also saw separate releases on the Nintendo DS and the Nintendo Wii. The Wii allows for move control support, however it comes graphically downgraded due to the limitations of the Wii system. The game was also remastered on the Xbox One and PS4 with improved graphics. Ideally, that's the version you'll want to get. I've also heard that the remastered edition contains bots which allow for offline play on multiplayer. 
so the remaster edition is the best end-all version to get. Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare was a fun game. It captured the same thrilling action that the previous games offered, but with a new code of modern combat. Copies of the game have really come down in price now these days, so if you're at all interested in picking up a copy, then you won't be disappointed.